This is Chris with ChrisStock.com. Welcome to video number 10 in our DNN9 video series. In this one, I'm going to talk to you about how you can install the brand new DNN9 extension templates for Visual Studio 2017. Now, before we get into that, we'll talk about a couple of prerequisites. This video assumes you have a local instance of DNN running at the URL dnndev.me. Now you can actually change that URL if you have a local instance of DNN running with these templates, but that's what it's going to use by default. Now, if you don't know how to set up that local instance, be sure to check out the earlier videos in our DNN9 series as we walk you through the process of installing DNN9 utilizing that local dnndev.me URL. Now, we also assume that you have Visual Studio 2017 already installed. This video is using the release candidate of Visual Studio 2017, but the official release should be out tomorrow, March 7th, 2017. So you can go ahead and use the same process here in that official release. Now, we're going to go ahead and show you how to load or run Visual Studio 2017 as an administrator. And then we'll walk through the process there of finding the templates in the online extensions for Visual Studio and installing those templates. Now, in the next video in our series, we're going to walk you through creating and packaging and even probably installing that newly created module within your local DNN9 website. So let's go ahead and minimize our notes here. We'll switch over to our local instance of DNN. So you can see I've got the local instance running here at dnndev.me. Now, in order to run Visual Studio, I'm going to go ahead and go down to my Visual Studio icon. And if you actually have not installed or set up the icon on the taskbar, you can just go to your start menu and find the Visual Studio icon within there. From there, you can right click on the desktop app shortcut here and choose the run as administrator option. Now, when you do that, you're going to be given the Moto pop up here, the user account control access. You can go ahead and click on yes to that, and that will load up Visual Studio 2017. Now, depending on your resources, that might take a few moments to load. We'll see if we get our full screen here. Here we go. So we have Visual Studio finally loading up here. Now, in order to locate the extension templates, we're going to go to the tools menu here in Visual Studio. We're going to go to the extensions and updates option. Now from here, once we get the new window to load up, it will allow us to search for templates. We can search for templates that have already been installed within Visual Studio, or we can go to the online option on the left side. Now that will by default search that Visual Studio marketplace. And over on the right side, you can simply type in the word .NET Nuke to perform a search. What you'll find here is the latest release of the .NET Nuke development project templates. You can see if you select it, it's version 901 created by myself. And we could go ahead and click the download option. Now the download option will go ahead and download those templates. And it does require us to restart Visual Studio. So you go ahead and click on the close option there. We'll go ahead and close Visual Studio as well. And once Visual Studio's installer finishes here, we'll be able to restart Visual Studio again, running it as administrator. Now, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and click the modify option to complete the installation. And now we've installed those templates. So I'm going to go ahead and restart Visual Studio again. I'm going to run it as an administrator. And what we'll find once Visual Studio loads back up is if we go to create a new project now in Visual Studio, we're going to have some additional options available to us. So to do that, we're going to go to the File menu. We're going to choose New and project and under the c-sharp selection of projects we can find that there should be a new dot nuke folder we'll wait here for visual studio to fully load that project creation dialog so under visual c-sharp here we now have a selection for dot nuke and within that we have 
five options available to us. We have a DNN C sharp compiled module option, a C sharp compiled theme option, a C sharp DAL2 compiled module option, an MVC module option, and a SPA module option. Now, in addition to the Visual C Sharp templates, if you go under other languages in the Visual Basic, you'll find that there's a .NET Nuke folder there as well. And within the Visual Basic section, we can find that there's a compiled module option and a DAL2 compiled module option. So we've got a couple of templates, not all of the same templates as C Sharp, but a couple available here for the VB.NET users. Now, in the next video in our series, we'll go through actually creating a project or a module based on these project templates, compiling, packaging, and installing that module. This is Chris Hammond. Thanks for watching the video.